Hey guys, welcome to Beyond the Lens. Today we're going to look at how to make translucent or see-through text in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Now, as you can see, as usual, I have a project open here and I've got some project media here. I've got a fire and my sequence. So I'm going to drag my fire to the timeline. Now if we just move that along and look, there are, you can see the fire burning away nicely. But we want some text on that. So I'm going to go to title, new title, default still. Now instead of just typing the text on top, I'm going to select this here, which is the rectangle box. And I'm going to draw a box all the way over my window. Then I'm going to change its color, its fill type. to black and now we're going to type so let's go back to the typing tool and I'm going to put hello but we want that white so we will change that to white and there we go I'm going to change that to impact give it a more of a punch through and we're going to want that a little bit bigger so let's bring this up to about there. We're going to center it using the vertical and horizontal center. Now we have our title. We're going to drag that onto our timeline. We're going to make it the same length as our clip. But John, you say it's not see-through. Here's where the fun part starts. We're going to our effects tab. Go to Video Effects, Keying, and we're going to go for Luma Key. Drag that on top of our text. And at the moment, it's taken the black out. So we're going to change this. We've got the threshold and the cutoff. We're going to move the threshold down to zero, and the cutoff up. So if we play that now, There is our fire going through. So I'm going to make that fire a little bit bigger, I think. So I'm clicking on the fire, going to a motion and just bring scale and bring that up a little bit. And then perhaps just bring that just up a little bit. That gives it a little bit more. There we go. Now, as you can see, we do have a slight white halo around it. If you want to get rid of that, click back onto your text. And if you bring the threshold up just a little bit, you'll see it just gradually disappearing. So if we have a look at that now. There's our fiery letters. If you want to put a stroke around it or a line around it just to make it come out a bit more, but you want a colored line instead of just a faint outline, I'm going to double click on our text and we're going to come down here. And we're going to find strokes. Now, here we are. We want an outer stroke. We're going to click add. We're going to change the color. Let's have a nice blue, shall we? There we are, you see we've got a nice blue around it. You can change the size, you can change the opacity of it, make it more prominent or less prominent. You can change the size of it, so you can go out and look like that, which is, ugh, maybe not. So let's take it down to about 13. Close that, and there we have that round of clip. Just do a quick render here, hitting the Enter key. There we go. There is our see-through text of Fire OS. I hope this was helpful, and there will be another tutorial out with you next Thursday. Have a great weekend.